Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nick Does Disney. I am at Hollywood Studios today. We're gonna have a really good time tonight. Uh, we were here earlier in the day, didn't do any filming just so I could come and kind of enjoy the park, but tonight we have a lot of fun stuff in store. I've got my family with me on this trip. I am not solo, so we're gonna do some fun things with the boys who are 10 and six years old. Our littlest, Carson, is gonna go build a droid. That's where we're headed right now. And then my oldest, Camden, who is 10, is gonna build a lightsaber. I did that when uh, Galaxy's Edge first opened. Uh, it's been quite some time now since I did it, so I'm excited to kind of see it again. See what's different right now in the COVID time, see what's different about the procedures they do. So we're gonna go to Galaxy's Edge now, knock that out, and do 50's prime time in a little bit. So it's gonna be a good time in Hollywood Studios. Let's go do this. Carson, are you excited to go build a droid? Uh -huh. What kind of unit are you gonna build? Uh, a BB unit. A BB unit? Camden, excited to build a lightsaber? You have an idea on color yet? Blue or green. Blue or green. All right. All right, through the tunnel into Galaxy's Edge. Carson, you excited? Vi came out to play. And we've got Chewy. All right, so we're waiting to check in to go build a droid. We're just hanging out with Vi and Ray and Chewy, keeping everybody nice and safe. All right, you're all checked in, right? You ready to go build? All right, now I can't go in with you, only mom can go in. So mom's gonna have to be a cameraman inside. So mommy will get everything on film and we'll put that in, okay? What are you gonna build? Oh yeah, so this is what you can do. You get to pick your droid. You're gonna do an R2 or a BB unit. And then you get to pick a personality chip and you get a cool bag. We'll have fun and we'll put that in and see what it looks like, okay? You all good to go? That's all of it? Okay. Okay. All right, Carson, what do you think? Good. You have all your parts? What do we do now? Go build it? Next, uh-uh, next one, number two, number two. Right here. How are you doing today? Doing well. All right, so your instructions are gonna be on the left-hand side right here. While we have it open, your on-off switch is there. After we activate, the chip's going to go right there, okay? Our first set here is these pipes. We have these four colors here. Which ones would you like? Black. You want black? Great choice. All right, those are going to go right on top there. When you're done with that, take the tape off this guy, okay? Very nice. You got it. How's it going? Hi. 
So we just showed you Carson building his droid, and now it's time for Camden to build a protection and defense lightsaber. Ooh, lightsaber time! So we're at Savi's workshop. The place is so cool. So much detail, so many cool things to see. So we just checked in. You scan your QR code now. They used to give you like an actual menu kind of deal. Oh, the sun is way bright, but now they just give you a little QR code, and then we're gonna go to that cash register in a second, fill in all the details, and then go with this group over here and wait to go inside and build a saber. All right, while we wait, here's a look at the menu. You can see everything that you can build, all the styles you can choose from. A little bit of the background behind those styles. Pretty awesome stuff. This is serious business, building a lightsaber, don't you know? Nice. We are doing great, how are you? I am awesome. Nice. Am I awesome? Are you awesome? Yeah. He's awesome. awesome. You're both awesome. All right, guys, what's the last name? I'm sorry? Last name? Chapel. Perfect, and what style are you building? Protection and defense. My man. Do you want a stand or a belt clip for that? Ooh. The stand is 25, the belt clip is 18, but I recommend the stand. You want to get a stand? Yes. Let's do a stand. We will put you in your standing with Erin, and she did five push ups today, so today's a good day to be on her good side. <laughs> nice, I like it. That's a pretty cool looking stand, man. Uh -huh. Good pick. All right, so we paid and everything, and what'd you get? You got this cool little card. We're gonna use that for your protection and defense lightsaber. And anybody who builds out of the two people that get to go in have to wear a fancy looking little pen. Looks pretty awesome. So now we wait. We're gonna go join a big group. And then when our time is called, it's a lightsaber building will go. All right, so now we are inside that little holding pen that we were showing you earlier, which means that the group ahead of us just went in. Now, I did it, it was a while ago, it was over a year ago now, but I think the whole experience once you get in takes it about 15 minutes or so, so we'll be here for a little bit. I had a super fun time doing it before, and I think this guy's gonna be stoked, right? He's already talking about where he's gonna put his stand and his little pin. He's very excited. And a couple of things to change, they give you a designated area, you have to stand on your circle the whole time, wear your face mask, all that kind of good stuff. But all in all, it sounds like everything else is uh, pretty much the same, I think, so. Next time you see us, we're going to be heading inside. Okay, oh, we're going in. Awesome, thank you. Bright Suns. Okay. Wow, look at this place. This place is awesome. Cam, are you excited? This place is pretty, pretty awesome. I'm excited because last time I had to build and it was so frantic in here. Now I get to kind of take it all in and just watch this guy build one. Pretty cool. I know it seems a little well a lot, but to us this is everything. I see you've all met the gatherers. Very good. You may call me Kembe. Now, to some of you, this may look like a lot of old junk, but let me assure you some of it is new junk. <laughs> let me explain. We humbly call ourselves the gatherers. We search the galaxy for our ancient relics. Abandoned places, forgotten outposts, and battle around its planets. What we find, we bring here to the workshop. So we're a stormtrooper, they see worthless cutter. 
Those who know see priceless history. And in these times, preserving our past may ensure our future. You've heard of the legend of Luke Skywalker, yes? Very good. Well, now we hear there is uh, another, a new Jedi. Do you know her name? Ray. Ray, yes. And what she is leading is the spark of hope that we have been searching for for so long. And that's why you're here, to look ahead and to build this, a lightsaber. has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and darkest enemies. It's elegant and enigmatic to build a lightsaber is an art. The saber is a reflection on its builder with the force flowing between them. Today you will feel that connection. I'm not talking. Let's begin. We begin with perhaps the most important part of the lightsaber, the Kyber Crystal, able to focus the energy of the Force, to magnify it. Some say the Kyber Crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal determines the color of the lightsaber's blade. Uh, the blue crystal, like the one wielded by Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and now Rey. Green, Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, rare, beautiful, like the one wielded by Mace Windu. Uh, rare, the color of power, the crystal of Darth Maul, Sarge Venture Star Vader, and now Kylo Ren. But these are the stories of the past, and we're here for you, our future. It's now time to select your Kyber Crystal. Everyone, close your eyes to me. Close your eyes in your mind. Picture your crystal. What color do you see? What color calls to you? What color is yours? Now, open your eyes and take your crystal. And remember, the crystal may be choosing you. Do you see your point? There you go. Blue. You've also Ooh, your crystal. Blue. Now, if you would, please place it on the green crystal all the way in front of you. You will now pair your crystal with the unique lightsaber design that you've chosen. We'll begin by building the hill, the foundation of your lightsaber. Your Center of control. And the part that stops your hand from being disintegrated. <laughs> In these blocks, it is all the unique components of the lightsaber design that you yourselves have chosen. Pretty good. Now, components down, and in the boxes, you'll find the chassis, activation plates, grips, bottle cap, and emitter. Building a lightsaber is a journey. Just as you selected your hybrid crystal, so too you will now select the individual parts that make up your own unique saber. The gatherers are here to help you, should you require assistance. Well, are we ready? Yes! yes. Pretty good! Let's build. These vents to the sky indicate the top of your lightsaber. And where my thigh is inside here, at the top there's a plate that goes down, push that plate up inside, leaving so it to the bottom of the back of the room. And once your crystal is secured inside your chamber, you should be able to stay crystal without falling out. You can't get out without my friends, and that is what I'm here for. Good job. Nice. Nice and tight. Looking good. Oh, nice. Ah. So you got the saber. The next your parts. You can just it, put them in the backpack and take them home. That's cool. Let's see what happens next. Whoa. What's happening? Much skill. 
have you shown? Oh, Yoda. Now, joined, you will be. It is time. Master Yoda. It is indeed time to take that first step. The bond between Saber and Builder is about to be forged. In a moment, on my signal, everyone will take a step forward. Place their hand on their hilt, and together on my command, you will activate for the first time. Ooh. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Then step forward. All right, you know which button to push? Place your hand on your hilt. Wait for it. And activate! <laughs> Good oh. Raise your lightsabers! Wow. Open your hand! You a lightsaber! Like the Jedi and Sith who came before you! And like that you two can change the galaxy! Wow! Remember, it only takes a spark! All right, how was that, dude? Awesome. You liked it? Uh-huh. Carson, how was your droid building? Good. Was it fun? Mm -hmm. What's the guy's name? Does he have a name? I don't know. No? Okay. Well, it looks pretty cool. Kim, did you have fun? Yeah. Don't break that thing. <laughs> he owes me a couple of bucks now. It's pretty cool. All right, so we're done with that. So now let's go look around Galaxy's Edge a little bit. Yep. All right.
All right, so we are all done at Galaxy's Edge and we are having dinner. As you can see by the spinning sign, 50s Prime Time Cafe. It's like taking a step back in time. They should do like a WandaVision overlay. That would be awesome. So we're gonna go inside, get some milkshakes and tasty food. Before we go in, here's a look at the menu. Lots of good looking stuff. Got some appetizers, some soup, a crab cake. I love the sampler here. Lots of tasty looking things. Decisions, decisions. All right, we got our text. This used to be the old waiting area in the tune-in lounge. I love this place. Look at this. It's like going back in time, back to the 50s. This place is so cool. I love all the TVs you can watch. Ooh, and all the smells. It smells like comfort food everywhere in here. I love the TVs, it's so cool. Oh, well, looks like we're gonna have a good spot. Hey, Carson, no elbows on the table. You have to use your table manners here. You ready to order some milkshakes? Cam, we're gonna get some milkshakes. Oh, Dennis the Menace. That's like your guys' life story. All right, let's order some food. How's that peanut butter and jelly milkshake? Good. Looks pretty good. You can only get it here, Carson. How's your chocolate milkshake? Is it good? Did it give you a brain freeze yet? Not yet? It looks pretty good. You can dip french fries in it, right? Too salty and sweet? Look like you're gonna fall asleep. You better drink that shake before it turns into chocolate milk. Are you all milkshaked out? Still got a lot left. Cold. <laughs> it's a cold day in Florida too. True. How's yours? Good. How much have you drank so far? This much. <laughs> That's what you have left. You're like a polar bear, though. You don't get cold. I'm drinking this thing. I'm freezing. <laughs> food time. All right, Cam, food's here. What'd you get? Chicken. Strips with french fries. Mm, looks pretty good. I got the sampler. It's got the chicken, the pot roast, the meatloaf, the veggies, and the taters. Mashed potatoes. Carson is already dipping french fries in a milkshake. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't going to do that. How is it? Salty and sweet. And Megan got. Is that Megan's meatloaf? Or is it mom's meatloaf? Megan's. It's, oh, Megan and Megan's meatloaf. Very good. All right, you keep dipping those french fries. Tell me how it is. Mmm, better than ketchup? Alright. I'm excited. This looks pretty good. No, not your milkshake? Okay. Alright, I got clean plate club. Did you? I finished both of them. I'm having one at Carson's. You, yeah, because Carson is just still over here dipping away. French fries shake. French fries shake. Is that all you're going to eat as your dinner? But it's giving you some extra energy. Okay, well, I want to see you be. <laughs> You're hyped, hyped up now. Sugar crash. <laughs> oh, look, you ate your fruit too. Where'd your fruit go? Not you. Guess mom ate it. I want to see your plate look like mine. Nice and clean. You too. Where's your fruit? <laughs> I ate the bowl. It disappeared? All right. See, if you finish all your food, you get a clean plate club sticker, but you didn't finish all your food. And you didn't finish all your food. Hey, you're a sticker thief. I'm the only one who had a clean plate. Where do you think you're going to put that sticker? Those are mine. Give them back. All right. A successful meal at 50's Prime Time. Now back into the park. This kid and his droid. Just one last thing. Take some photos of your new fancy lightsaber in front of the Falcon and your droid. Yes. Hey, Cam and Carson. And we'll put those photos in now.
Alrighty, everybody, that is going to do it for today's Nick Does Disney. We literally just closed down the park. I thought it was open until 9 p.m., but it's only open until 8. So we were going to try to sneak in another ride, but kind of missed the cutoff. But we had a great day today. The kiddos got to build the droid and the lightsaber. Did a lot of things around Galaxy's Edge. Had a delicious dinner at 50's Primetime Cafe. So I think we're going to go back to the room and eat some delicious treats and call it a night. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you in another episode of Nick Does Disney. Have a great night from Hollywood, everybody.